Ooh, la, 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 la. Oh my god! Now you're dead. What's up, boys, and welcome to freeze day number three. Day one was Marquinhos, day two was Ansaldi, and day three sees us get our first Bundesliga player uh, in the form of 84 Ultimate Team Freeze, Leon, oh Mad Lad, Bailey. Now, the reactions that I'm seeing are... Um, you know, we've got another, it's just another right mid, right winger in the Bundesliga. It's kind of a meh card. Uh, but for me, someone that obviously favors the Bundesliga, for someone that runs a Bundesliga squad on the RTG, for being about eighty-five to 90,000 coins, this is definitely a card that is speaking to me. Yes, he's difficult to link outside of the Bundesliga. That's not why you would do this card. Uh, you do this card, obviously, to get him in your Bundesliga squad, unless you have some, like, I don't know, Maddox or something like that from Inner Miami, but... Uh, just a very, very cool looking card for an 84 rated. I said this, uh, I said this on stream and I said it in the video a couple days ago. Like this is the, I mean, like this is the kind of card that I kind of live for. I wish it was cheaper. I wish it was about 70 K. I think I wish it was about 65 to 70 K. That definitely would feel more of like a foot missy, uh, discount freeze vibe. Uh, but, uh, this Leon Bailey has some things about his card that look absolutely vonzen. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot has the left foot as well. Um, and, uh, turns into easily one of the fastest players in the Bundesliga, not even, you know, just ignoring position turns into one of the fastest players in the world and to, uh, in in the game. And tomorrow, a lot of people are expecting that Adama Traore to be the SBC player. So that is what we are. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. Would be a crazy way to kick off a Monday to get a striker Adama Traore. However, a lot of people were expecting that if we did get a Leon Bailey, he would maybe be converted to striker. So unfortunately. We didn't get that. He is still a right mid. But per usual, boys, if you guys are enjoying the Epis, if you guys are enjoying the Foot Freeze promo, smash like on the video. If you guys are an absolute mad lad, hit that subscribe button down below uh, if you guys are new to the channel. So what do you get with a 84 upgraded Leon Bailey? It's 131 total in game stat upgrade over his base 80, which was still a really, really good starter card. And now he has a card that we can use um, even into uh, into December. I think this card will be good for the month of December. And, th and then I think once we get into January, it, it may become interesting. But look at these stats, man. 95 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. He's got 85 attacking positioning, 85 shot power with 83 long shots. So basically everything on average about like 80... I don't know what I want to call it. Like 82, 83 uh, with, his, uh, with his shooting stats. As a winger, the passing stats aren't incredible. Has 82 crossing, which is adequate, which is fine. Free kick accuracy, you can take some free kicks for you as well. Short passing, we want to get jacked off with the dead eye, and we also want to use vision to get him up to 92 vision. And then curve, obviously, if we're playing him at winger, uh, we want him up at 88. The, the stats that really get crazy here is when we, uh, or, or the stats that in terms of what I like out of a player is when we get to the dribbling stats. 91 agility, 89 balance, 85 ball control, 89 dribbling, 80 composure. I almost feel like a finisher would be good on him if you wanted to run him at striker, but we are going to test him out as a winger, a cut inside winger in the 4-4-1 formation, 82 stamina, uh, and then has the flair and the outside the foot shot. I mean, you guys already know what it is, man. We're, we, you know, we, 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 we live in, uh, bleed, live and bleed. I mean, if we, if we were bleeding, we'd be dead, but we live and breathe the Bundesliga, and my dream is to be able to put together a squad like this. Actually, it was a nice thing that I didn't sell off the, I, I didn't sell off any of the players because this actually worked out really, really well, uh, but we're going to get into a couple matches here. We're going to see if this 84 Bailey is a little bit meh, or if there's something really, uh, if there's something really magical about the card. Match from one featuring the 84 foot freeze Leon Jammin' Mad Lad Bailey. Los geht's. <laughs> Y ahora armar de nuevo desde el medio. Leon Bailey. Otra vez con Bailey. Una clara para Bailey. This is, this never Referee, that's a... That, that, okay, that... Listen, I know I've been getting a lot of stick in videos lately, lately about complaining about fouls that aren't actually fouls. But, dude, how, that was a foul. Marco Reus. Hazard. I just don't know if I agree that that should be possible in a game of FIFA, bro. Leon. Again, it's not even the keep. The, his keeper's not even doing anything so far. Keeper zero saves. His two defenders. Okay, of course. Griezmann. That's Ro Roman Berkey is having the game of his life right now. Right. 
god, it makes me so mad. It's like actually unreal. It's, it makes me so mad! Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey free kicks. Not enough power. Yo! Let's go! Wait, why is it so zoomed in? Leon Bailey kicking things off with an absolute fantastic free kick. Let's go, boys. Come on. Leon Bailey free kick specialist. Alright, that's the level. That's what I knew that I needed to do at the start. That's what I knew that I needed to do at the start. I needed to do the uh, the body faint around Rafa, Rafa Varane, and then in order to get through, I had to do a heel flick. So Leon Bailey, couple minutes in, showing his worth from uh, showing his dual purpose worth right there, dude. Thorgan Hazard picking up where he left off yesterday. Probably should have just shot that. Roman Burke do Roman Berkey doing everything he can to replace Manuel Neuer in every Bundesliga starting squad. Interestingly enough, he doesn't have low defensive work rates. He has medium defensive uh, work rates now. So he's even better in terms of being a winger in the 4-4-2. Can get back and help a little bit out um, defensively, right? So but whereas before he had uh, he had low defense, he, he's got uh, he's got high attacking work rates and had low defensive work rates. He's now got um, high and medium. Bro, what am I even? What is even going on right now? <laughs> That's the level, boys. That's what you want to see when a. F That's what you want to see when a, from a freaking Leon Bailey dabbing it out with his boy Erling Holland, man. Hey, Bundesliga OP. Don't come at me and talk some smack about the Bundesliga, bro. Don't come at me and talk some smack about the Bundesliga, bro. Morgan Hazard purpose spin. Take a bow, son. Let's freaking go, boys. 4-2. Absolute Bundesliga masterclass, dabbing it, dabbing it up with Marco Reus. Now, I mean, I guess you guys let me know what you think about it, right? I mean, we've got Gnabry, we've got that Jaden Sancho. Um, the Jaden Sancho, though, isn't he like five? How much is he? Let's see, Bundesliga right wing, right mid. I know I'm in the middle of a game, and this would be the most way thing in the world is would be to concede while you're looking something up. And Roman Berkey, because he's an absolute god, uh, prevented us from conceding. 227k for Jaden Sancho, and then if I'm keeping it a stack, dude, like, Gnabry and Sancho kind of with the pace nerfs, Kareem Schneller, Rabi, um, if you did him, you maybe are probably thinking about not doing this, uh, Bailey, but if you didn't do the Schneller, Rabi, this one, uh, this Leon Bailey definitely has you thinking, I mean, I would make the argument that he's the best right mid, he's the best right mid, right winger in the Bundesliga, no question about it, I think he's top three, and then if you didn't do the Schneller, Rabi, right? Griezmann. He is, he's still got the three-star week. So you're talking about a guy who is four-star, four-star compared to Schneller Rabi, who's four-star, three-star. You're talking about a guy who, um, you know, if you missed out on, let's assume a lot of people that are getting um, FIFA for Christmas probably missed out on him. And uh, I think that Schneller Rabi for 90K can be a really, really solid right wing, right mid option for you until maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I would say around... For at least January. Marco Royce. All right, here we go. Leon Bailey. Is this it? Es tiene el mano a mano. Está complicado, pero lo sigue intentando. Doesn't lose the ball. Can body fit anywhere I want. Roman Berkey has had. Roman Berkey has put in. Dude, <laughs> Roman Berkey is broken. Oh, things you love to see. Let's go, boys. Leon Bailey in the right place at the right time. The stadium is going crazy. His players have collapsed.
Leon Bailey goes ahead and he collects his man of the match ball. Of course he does. He was an absolute hero. Not quite on the level as Roman Berkey, but seven attempts, four goals. And he was absolutely crazy. It got a little bit scary there. It looked like maybe my opponent was going to be able to come back into the game. Uh, but I, I, I do say, I, I do say, what, what, wait, what do you say? Um, I mean, Jaden Sancho, 227, right? Um, 87 regular Sancho's there. 85 regular Serge Gnabry's there. Gnabry has his left mid, which is the informed card. Kareem Shdelarabi, if you missed out on the SBC, you don't have him. Um, uh, Wu Yong Jong, who is the level 15 player that you can unlock. He's four star, four star as well. We don't have that many great options. I mean, like, yeah, you, you take a look at the, uh, you take a look at the Serge Gnabry, 90 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, has some good, uh, has some good dribbling stats. So, I mean, if you're getting by with any of these guys, if you have the Kareem Schneller Robbie, I feel like maybe it would be tough to do this one, but you do get a four star weak foot upgrade, obviously much, much faster as well. Um, and one of the main reasons, like, yeah, one of the main reasons you would do this, uh, Leon Bailey card is he's just absolutely rapid, 96 pace. I mean, does, does anything else need to be said? But Leon Bailey was absolutely incredible in this match for us. We'll, uh, we'll go through some of the goals right here. Uh, body feint to get rid of Rafa Varane. Another mini body feint, which I thought I did a heel flick, so I got, was a little bit patient. And then just bangs it in with his, uh, bangs it in with his left foot. Oh, this one was a, this one was a thing of beauty as well. So this was, uh, this was to him. Left analog stick to get around regular uh, hazard. Um, cut in with the right uh, left analog stick. And then a body feint to get rid of Luka Modric. Ready? This is the body feint to get rid of literally half of his team. They don't know how to react. Full power blast. And then Leon Bailey just uh, from, you know, with that left foot and with the uh, with the shot power he has. And, and his finishing capabilities with the Deadeye now um, is not going to miss that opportunity. So in terms of value, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five. I'd give it a four if it was around 75, 70K. But because it's about 85, 90K, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I think, um, you know, there there are other options in the Bundesliga. Like I said, a tradable Jadon Sancho. If you think that you can't get better than that and you've got coins, then this uh, then this Leon Bailey doesn't make sense for you. But if you're hovering around starting the Kareem Schnell Arabi and you want to upgrade, I would argue that this Leon Bailey is an upgrade. And if you're using one of uh, either Gnabry or Sancho, regular card uh, I think you can make a strong case that this is a very solid upgrade as well so three and a half out of five and in terms of on the pitch performance uh, I am going to go ahead and give it four out of five did everything for us free kicks was able to fly down the right I would imagine that he'd even probably be able to get some stuff done as a central paper uh, player as a center forward or a striker I think it's a really really solid card I uh, do I think it's a great card no it's not one of these crazy 86s or 87s uh, but I think for being an 84 he's one of the better 84s that we've seen come out this year and uh, I think he is I think he's worth doing especially if you're obviously running a Bundesliga side because he is so difficult to link in terms of being uh, Jamaican. But that's going to do it for the episode here, boys. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.